the developing world has taken off. Emerging economies have grown at rates above the ones of the country members of the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, the OECD. Between 2005 and 2017, China, India, and Indonesia grew at rates above 7%. The impact of this growth can be felt at the high levels of policy development and in global agri-food markets, but also down to the level of value chains, agribusiness, and individuals who operate in the food system, including consumers. The OECD estimates that much of the economic growth of the next decade will come from growth in developing countries. To understand the impacts of supply and demand factors affecting agri-food markets, take a look at what happened to global food prices between 2005 and 2017. World food prices were at its highest in 2008. What brought this about? Several converging factors. The prices of maize, wheat, and rice increased sharply from their levels in 2004. Several factors affected demand and supply lead to this outcome. From the supply side, the push for biofuels in the United States affected the quantity of maize available in the global markets. The U.S. is the biggest world exporter of maize, and 30% of maize produced in the country is allocated to biofuel feedstock, the food crops used in the making of biofuels. The cost of oil, agricultural inputs such as fertilizer and pesticides, and transportation costs for both inputs and outputs increased. Additionally, the extended drought in Australia, known as the Millennium Drought, reduced the global supply of wheat. From the demand side, economic growth drove demand for high-value foods. Between 2005 and 2010, emerging economies grew at rates above countries who are part of the OECD. Income in China, India, and Indonesia grew at rates of 11%, 8.5%, and 6%, respectively, in this period. The demand for meat and milk and the demand for grains used for animal feed increased. The result was a spike in food prices and concerns arose about the impact this would have. Maize, wheat, and rice constitute staple crops for many in the developing world, which means that the bulk of the diets of the poor are constituted by foods made out of these products. Many governments reacted by restricting trade of staple crops to ensure enough local supply and lower prices. This, in turn, further increased food prices. After a decade of high world food prices, the situation changed between 2016 and 2017. High prices incentivized increases in production of agricultural products, with production reaching record highs across agricultural commodities, including cereals, meat, and dairy products. In spite of high levels of economic growth in emerging economies, the money is starting to become stagnant. Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, and OECD projections indicate per capita demand for cereals reaching saturation point. This is also the case for meat, the latter is mostly due to the expected disacceleration of China's economic growth. Growth in demand for the coming decades is expected to come from population growth, in particular in the African continent. Africa is the youngest continent in the world. However, India is expected to continue growing at high rates. To the culture and consumer's preferences, the growth in demand for animal protein in this case is expected to be driven by an increase in demand for milk rather than meat. Demand for feedstock is expected to increase in developing countries implementing policies to increase the use of biofuels. And demand for oils and sugars in developing countries will continue to increase due to higher consumption of highly processed foods and fast food.